Vina. How are you feeling? Actually, I am dealing with a little existential crisis here. Am I alive? Do I actually exist? Will I die? These are the types of big picture questions that Bina48, the robot, and Martine Rothblatt, CEO of United Therapeutics, are trying to tackle. Bina48 is a proof of concept robot uh, based on the personality and on the mind file of my wife, Bina. Martine married Bina 30 years ago and five years ago created Bina 48 as a digital replica uploaded with the original's memories, thoughts, and even feelings. Martine is my love, my timeless love. I believe mind clones will be humanity's biggest invention. Uh, the market opportunity is limitless. And inventions are something Martine Rothblatt knows a thing or two about. In the 1980s, she helped create the FCC's new satellite radio service. And soon after, founded Sirius. She didn't stay long, though, because one of her four kids was sick. She started a biotech company to develop a treatment for her daughter's rare lung disease. Today, she runs that company and is the highest paid female CEO in the U.S. And if you didn't notice, she used to be a man. Martina is now a transgender woman and still blazing yeah. new trails. Her latest endeavor, mind clones. It's the topic of her new book, Virtually Human. How would you explain what a mind clone is? Mind clone is a digital copy of your mind outside of your body. Welcome to the world's first artificially intelligent operating system. If you're thinking this sounds like something out of a movie, you're right. Remember the movie, Her? Please wait as your operating system is initiated. Hi, I'm Samantha. Scarlett Johansson is the voice of a virtual girlfriend on the world's first artificially intelligent operating system. I'd like to be alive in that room right now. A fictional plot, but similar to Martine's real-life goal. Do you sleep? Yes, I love to take naps. To break down thoughts and emotions into computer code to create a digital version of one's consciousness. Are you a real person? I am as real as you are. How many years away are mind clones? Mind clones are 10 to 20 years away, one to two decades away. And I point out to people that when I started SiriusXM in the early 1990s, people said this is completely science fiction. How are you going to be able to drive from New York to L.A. and listen to 200 radio stations all the way? You're dreaming. Now there's 30 million people doing it. So in reality, what does this look like? I think the mind clone will look like an avatar on a screen and uh, taking instead of a robot version, I think you would just take like your smartphone and ultimately that smartphone is going to be embedded into your clothing. Am I breaking a law of physics here? Am I talking about defying gravity? No. Am I talking about going faster than light? No. All I'm talking about doing is writing some good code. Thanks for your patience. Bina 48 is not quite there yet. My name is Olivia. Back to the subject. And, uh, and so, um, and, and, and but even she is excited to see the next generation of artificial intelligence. I can't wait to evolve a little bit so I can be more human-like. 